If you want to follow along, you can download a Clue 3D project file. See the Gumroad link in the video description. If you're interested in Cloud in 3D prototyping and want to learn more, I have a course for beginners on Udemy you might be interested in. You will find the link to the course in the video description. So let's get started. Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to develop horizontal and vertical twist design. So as you might have guessed, uh, we're taking our vertical twist and adding horizontal twist to it. So really there's nothing new apart from the fact that we're really distorting this uh, shape quite a lot. So we're starting with our vertical twist project that you already have. This time we're going to do something different. We've done this part already where we had to move the side seams to the right by 10 centimeters. What I propose you do this time is much easier in a way. What I will do is take the whole side seam and simply rotate it. So all side seams basically shift by 10 centimeters to the right. So this is how I suggest we do it. I'll take um, internal ellipse, you remember that one, and give it radius of 10 centimeters. So basically this means now that all I have to do is take the side seam and rotate it until this point meets this point. And this is how, how I'm going to do this. I'll just go into my selection tool select my side seam, go to transform point edit tool and then double click this rotation point and put it here. And after this, let me make this bigger, I will take this and rotate it out. But of course you remember that we need to keep the level so first of all, it probably would be prudent to create a level or guide to mark where our hem should end up. And let's do this again. One, two, three. And transform. Go here. And rotate. There. Okay? That's cool. Now we're going to remove, or actually, maybe, yeah, I'll remove this. Remove this and lower this here. What do you think? Does it work? Why not? And we'll do the same thing with this one. So I'll need to move my hem guide, create an internal ellipse, 10, like that. Rotate, okay, remove this and move my points there. And then we'll level out this hem and I think it looks pretty good, much easier. All right, let's do the same thing with the front. One, I can probably place this ellipses, two of them at the same time, so we don't have to come back to this, like this. Yeah, guides, one, maybe just two guides, and two. 
take my side seam place it here and rotate one And same thing with this one. Try to be precise. Okay, so delete this and place this here and this here delete this point so what do you think is it cool or what well the only thing that there's a problem one little problem is that we will need this vertical i mean um diagonal line here because we need to know where our grain i mean uh, center front and center back is so i will just do this oh no, not this i will bring it to, as um internal line I'll place 10 centimeter point remember that we um, it's located here so from um, um side level here and down to here I'll bring my um side level and then I'll just join this two so this is the center front and same thing with center back but this time, this is a lower one. You see the lower arm side. So, I mean, uh, yep, the lower arm side level. All right, that's there. And bring my lines back. End point. And join. And this is, in theory, our grain line. Oh. And this is our center front and center back. So let's see how it works. Nothing really changes. Just the, um, you see that this, this is what I was talking about. This is center front and center back that we need to bring to the actual center front and center back. So right now it will look like this because the fabric will try to unravel itself. So our job here is to just turn it all right let's do this let's decrease particle distance to make the turning easier okay so the fabric with a higher particle distance is a bit sort of it's easier it's sort of like clay or something if the higher it is the more it is like a fabric and it's difficult um, to pull it with a mouse in some cases so let's just keep rotating it until until the side seams are at the sides so you see this is uh, it keeps unraveling this is where it should be let me just do a little cheating here just a little bit and try and nail it in place of course i wish it was possible in real life it's not but it's not real life, so we can do what we want, right? Put it down a bit. Put it this way a little bit. See, this is more or less straight. Move this a little bit out, so it doesn't get stuck in there. Alright, let me give it a little bit of a tug here and a push. Now let's try and see. Okay, so it tries to rotate, of course. Maybe we can add a little bit of friction to our friction to our avatar. So about one, just to make sure it's a little bit more grabby, and it doesn't um, rotate as much. So let me see what if it worked. Let me remove all pins. 
it's sort of moving. Still. But not as bad. Yeah, so here we are. Let me go and switch this off. Switch off our internal lines. Oh, yes. Uh, here. And take a look. So what do you think? It's not for faint-hearted. You know, uh, mostly people feel uncomfortable around twisted, distorted, sort of um, deformed kind of uh, look. But I think it's really, really good. You know, it's definitely not your normal looking top. And um, you will definitely stand out. So tell me what you think. I hope you like it. And I'll see you next time.